approaching the planet for the first time, aliens may wonder what on earth a Union Jack is doing flying on an island 3,000 miles away from Britain and also on a large limestone rock at the bottom of Spain. It's a good question. Successive British governments have uh, claimed sovereignty over the Falkland Islands, but the claims are far from solid. And uh, shortly before the invasion of the Falklands by the Argentina in 1982, the Thatcher government offered uh, an arrangement whereby Argentina would get sovereignty over the islands and Britain would lease them back after, for 99 years. And the islanders would be promised uninterrupted uh, enjoyment of their way of life. And then even after the invasion in 1982, the Thatcher government was prepared to do a deal, negotiate over the islands. In strict uh, treaty terms, Britain's claims to Gibraltar, the Rock of Gibraltar, are stronger because the uh, 1713 Treaty of Utrecht ceded the rock to Britain in perpetuity, to the British Crown in perpetuity. But even so, despite this, the British governments in the past have been prepared to discuss sovereignty arrangements, but joint sovereignty, for example, with Spain. And the last time it did so was in 2002. It cannot be beyond the wit and imagination of democratic governments to abandon anachronistic notions of, of uh, false pride, really, and, and of status. The Rock of Gibraltar and the Falkland Islands have no uh, strategic interest uh, for Britain. It is time, indeed it's, it's well beyond time, to negotiate in the name of territorial integrity and indeed common sense. <laughs>